Hi YouTube, it's uh, Inamga4 again uh, with the Samsung Galaxy S2. I've been watching some videos on uh, YouTube uh, about the Sinaijin Mod 9 build, um, which is a, an ice cream sandwich ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, the, the few videos that I've watched um, just go through what's it like and what bugs it has and what basically what it looks like on the Samsung Galaxy S2 but um, I've seen videos like from Gadget Check um, on what you can do and so forth and reviewing it uh, but not many videos on how to actually install it uh, on the device itself so this is a video on how to install the Sinaijin Mod 9 um, ROM which is an ice cream sandwich build uh, of Android of 4.0.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So on the phone itself um, I've got Android 2.3.6 it's a rooted uh, phone already running Android uh, Gingerbread so what you need to do is download three files I've already downloaded them put them in a folder on my desktop called Sinaijin Mod 9 okay uh, these three files uh, there's a face unlock one a G apps one and an update CMS CM9 one I will put a link in the description of where you can download these from. Essentially what we're going to be doing is moving these files to the SD card of the phone and we won't be needing Odin or anything like that if you watch some of my other videos. So all we're going to be doing is copying these files to the SD card of the phone, um, turning the phone off, okay, um, reboot, booting the phone up into recovery console, then installing each one of these files um, going by the CM9 one first, then G apps, then face and lock. East, installing each one of these files via the install from install via zip from SD card function. Okay, so um, I've got the first two files on the phone already, but not the CM9 one, so I'll just co copy that across now. What you need to do is copy them to your micro SD card, which is already in the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, because we're going to be updating from these files okay so copy them to your phone's SD card which I'm doing now once it completes there you go that's done so that's gone to the phone now what we'll do that's as much as we need the computer for um, so we'll move over to the phone so now that the uh, files are on the phone, we're just going to disconnect from the PC there. Uh, come out of that and turn the phone off. Okay. Okay, once the phone's off, what we need to do is get into the recovery console. So volume up, power and home together, holding those down simultaneously until we get to the recovery console. Okay, I've still got those pressed down until we get to the recovery console. And that screen will come up twice, there we go. Okay, so we should get to the bingo. We're, we're at the recovery console now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do install zip from SD card. You can see that there. Press the home button choose zip from SD card is the one that we want to do which is the top one okay now it gives you folder view where of your SD card I'll put it in my CM9 one so navigate to whatever you put it and where it says update CM9 that was the one that we need to do and press the home button it says confirm install this cannot be undone yep we want to install it so scroll down with your volume rocker and then hit home and then it should start doing the update I may fast forward this because it gets a little bit boring. Okay, so that's now complete. So we've done the update for CM9. What we also want to do, again, go back to choose zip from SD card. Then locate the folder where you put the downloaded files. We've done the, we'll do the G apps one. So select it by pressing home. There we go. 
do that one and then it says extracting and whatnot copying the files there you go that's complete as well so when at the top when it throws you back choose zip from SD card again press the home button go to where you put the, all the files and so the final one that we need to do is face and lock so press the home button it says cannot be undone install face and lock yes and as you can see it's going through the install there and install from SD card complete that's brilliant so we're done here now what we'll do is once we've done the update completely what I would recommend is well go back to the main menu first of all okay where it says wipe data factory reset this you need to do this otherwise some of the bugs for the calendar won't syncing won't work um, so what we'll do wipe data factory reset but as I've got a system image of the phone anyway I'm not really bothered I can always go back it says CM9 are you sure this cannot be undone yes we are press the home button there you go that's complete as well so what we'll do is we'll just hit go to reboot system now and then wait for it that to reboot the phone's just vibrated so we I know it's still doing something brilliant it's asking for a pin code for the sim card whoa look at the new startup so I'll hit start gives me automatic time and date so yeah I'm happy with that I'll hit next what we'll do is sign into Google um, actually shall I sign into Google yeah why not it's turning on the Wi-Fi and it does pick up my network this time so you can see the next button is greyed out because I need to select it now it's asking for a password so I'm just going to type that in talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I do this okay now that the password's typed in all I need to do is hit connect and then once that's done it's then obtaining IP address that's now connected and you can see the next button is now greyed in again or come alive you could call it or activated we'll hit next uh, sign in with my gmail account so I'll just type that in quickly I'm just gonna hit sign in because this can take a few minutes but well, if you're working off the Wi-Fi it shouldn't take too long there you go backup restore use your Google account to back up your app settings such as bookmarks and Wi-Fi passwords and other data you can change your backup settings at any time keep this phone backed up with my Google account I'm gonna say no to that for the time being take the tick out, hit next Google location services, I'm going to say no to that I don't want to know where, let people know where I am all the time especially the wife, so we'll hit next um, punch in your name, hit next and it goes setup complete, we're done so we hit finish and this is make yourself at home, you can put your favourite apps here to see all your apps touch the circle well, it's like a tutorial of uh, when you got a new system choose some apps to add an app to your home screen touch and hold it okay I like the way the apps come alive there and that's it that's how you install I want to just show you what version of it is if I can just get you to the settings screen there we go settings and if we go down to about phone there we go again we go down if I just bring the camera in there you can see Android version 4.0.3 it's a Synigen mod version and you got the rest of the build versions there as well so far as you can see while I've been using it it's been okay it's nowhere near as bad as uh, and you can see the phone still rooted as well 
as bad as the Alpha 7 build that I had a while ago if, you remember, if you've seen that video so and it's also synced up the time pretty well as well so that's how you install the Sinaijo Modern 9 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S2 as you can see straight away there's no f comparing this to the Alpha 7 um, build I'll put on there's no floating buttons that were taken from the uh, the Nexus that you because it doubled up the screen, so that's pretty good. With that one, the camera didn't work before, but this one, the camera does work. That's pretty cool. Just go back, do another video on any changes I find on this uh, ROM or anything that's wrong with it. But it's certainly easier than installing the last one I did. So. And that's going from an Android Gingerbread 2.3.6, which I had on the phone, to this, just by putting the files on the SD card, and then going into Recovery Console, and then installing from the uh, SD card via zip. As easy as that. As I say, any comments below, please hit subscribe from the button up top there. Any any problems, holler back. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.